hello guys so in this video i will talk about the listener class which is required for the framework so when you have the framework you need to have the listener class which will listen your test script and based on the test script uh, status it will report a log for you okay so to do that what we will do is we'll create one listener class so we have already one uh, listener package which we have created here so we'll go to the navigator okay go to the window so view go for navigator in this navigator uh, we will go for the helper class in the helper we have a listener package here we will create one class we will write one class and here uh, we will write a class name called extent listener extent listener okay so this extent listener uh, internally a listener class has to implement the test ng interface so it will implement the test ng interface and which is i test i test listener okay the i test listener the first one okay so this is the interface so we have to write the implementations of all the add unimplemented method so click on that so once we click on that you can see that on start on finish on pass on a skip so a lot of on test start on test success so a lot of method will get added here so one by one what we need to do is we need to write the implementations for that so first what we will do is if you try to recollect we have created uh, one class in the utils and the name was extent manager okay if you try to recollect we had extent manager okay so what we can do we can uh, we can actually call this so we can call extent manager okay from that class we can get the instance of that so we can write extent one second some problem happened click on ok ok so extent manager dot ok so let me remove this uh, go to the test base we'll follow the same pattern so where is our test base this is our test base in the test base open the test base and see that what we have done in the test base so in before suite we have written extent manager is equal to this that's cool so we can create the same reference uh, in the extent listener okay this is purely for uh, listener class okay I will log through extent report so I'm going to listen the event and I will write a extent report so write this and go to again test base and we'll copy this extent is equal to extent manager dot get instance so get, uh, go to this extent listener and we'll go for on test start where we have on start okay so we can go here and we can just write this line and then we can write here uh, on a start what we can do is we can write uh, once this uh, extent is created okay and again we'll go back to the test base so look at here one the extent is created then we write test is equal to create test so we uh, create the test copy this name go to the uh, extent listener you do this test is equal to create test and then you on test what we can do we can write so we have okay we have already created the test by writing uh, get class dot get name okay so till here we don't need to do anything then we can go for on finish 
so on finish is the one there we are going to flush the report so we can just write extent dot plus because here we will flush the report now we will go for on test start where do we have on test start yeah so on test start we can write test dot log and you just write a status a status dot info right and then we can write org dot get name okay so this will actually start the test so we'll write just get name and then we'll write started okay on test test right on test success we can take this and we can write this past right on skipped we can take this and we can just write if this is the case then we can write dot skip and here we can just write dot get throwable okay and on test failure also I can copy this and I can write here dot dot fail okay fail happened and I'm doing that right yeah on test with success this you can ignore so we have added the extent report now apart from extent report what you guys can do is you can also add a reporter log which will print into the test ng report so just write reporter dot log and we can write here Uh, we can take it from here itself the org dot get name not get host get name okay plus we can write here this test started okay similarly we can write this test finished uh, similarly we can write here dot get name test failed and this test failed and we can do plus uh, the same argument dot get okay so on test failure right so this is the test so we can do dot get method dot get name got uh, get method dot get method name okay because this is the method which is running and then we can do this method uh, this method test failed and here we can do dot get throwable get throwable yeah then for a skip also we can take this logger if this is the case then test method test skipped test skipped and this is the region then on test success we can write the reporter log test passed and here we don't need this so on sorry on 
test start so test started and if this is the case then you can write reporter log test passed okay so now everything is done one more thing we can do here is uh, we can on test failure we can do auto capture of uh, a screenshot right so which actually we can do that auto capturing of the screenshot but which I will do later so this has been designed now now what we will do here is we will go to the regression suit which we have designed when I was doing some long back when I was doing the video number I think third or fourth don't remember exactly right here itself I will add one more listener we can add multiple listeners okay and in the same class I have added one more listener dot the listener name is extent listener this guy extent listener so come here just write extent listener now uh, for time being I will comment the first listener so select that and do control backslash it will get commented just for time being I have commented that I don't want both the listener uh, go here and run this suit and see that whether the listener report is getting generated so run as test listener so whenever you are writing the listener your the first line will be a listener line so let's see that if this listener is working fine and so it says that listener this uh, was not found in the class path it is saying that this is not found so see sometimes even you guys get these exceptions right uh, let me show you the exceptions so that you will understand how to debug that it says that this is was not found in the class path right it is saying that not found in the class path so how do you fix that whenever you will get this kind of issue so go to the package name and take the proper package name go to the extent listener here you take this package name come to this maximize this and change that package name okay. now once you do that then we will go and we will execute our shoot file run as test ng So let's see that now what happens still the test is not started now test should start okay so three test two failure that's fine so let's see that where the report will get generated refresh the project first refresh the project so project got refreshed now what happens when you go to the extent listener okay here we are calling that get instance so when you go inside we are generating the test output slash extent dot html so basically the test output is nothing but your test ng folder here in the test output we are generating a report called extent dot html so right click open with web browser so when you open that copy this go to the browser and paste here so look at this how your listener is getting executed automatically so this is your listener log you can see that one pass extent listener and the extent listener so problem you can see that you know all three is getting printed as extent listener this is one uh, thing which we are uh, getting that actually uh, we should not get this uh, extent listener I know that where I did mistake okay so this test started test uh, login test B started so you can see that this 
tests are saying that it got started so when you go here test started and all that we are getting that right now we are getting the exceptions also now this so why this error came I mean why this class name is not proper there is a reason for that when you go to the code here again the extent listener uh, here we should have done from this context okay you get the name from the context don't do from class name org dot you do get name okay so here you do org dot get name on test start as well as if you go to this email report also we have added reporter dot log right so it will be here you go to web browser see you copy this report also same time you can see both the report see you can see that three test see login test started test passed this test has started assertions came and this is the exception then again this test has started and this is the assertion so you are able to get the report here also right uh, now yeah now we have just modified uh, the little bit okay uh, what we modified is in the extent listener we modified the name now it should get this name test name okay now uh, let's go and run the suit again run as test ng okay so go here and refresh this see now you are getting that first test second test and third test so now you are getting the proper name and when you go here so the test was the class name was a and and it was b and then it was c so again this is wrong actually you should get why you are getting first test second test inside that it is saying that the login name this is saying that third test this is again this is not also right okay so go to the extent manager and okay so let me fix this issue why we are not getting the proper name here so still I am seeing the issue when I am calling that get class dot get name it is not uh, actually printing the class name it should print you know class a b and c and then it should print inside method so it is printing the inside method but uh, it is not printing the class name which I will fix in the second video because uh, maybe I have to do some debugging and I have to see that why it is not printing so on test failure on test escape everything are working fine only the issue what we have is on a start like why this guy is not printing the class name which is running on the runtime which i will see in the next video so thank you guys thank you for watching this